hello guys welcome to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach with you how you can install jdk on your operating system i'm using windows 10 so i'm gonna teach with you how you can install and configure java development kit so first thing you need to open your favorite browser and search on the address bar jdk i'm gonna search jdk once you have searched the JDK then you need to open the first one link and then you need to open the first one which have a Java platform JDK 12 this is the latest version of Java development kit so I'm gonna click on that then go to below and select accept license agreement there are a couple of uh, operating systems like Linux, Mac OS and also Windows. I'm using Windows 10 so I will download the Windows uh, exe file. So here is the two versions uh, the zip file and .exe file so I'm gonna open the basically download the exe file so I'm gonna click on that and then you need to wait a couple of seconds to download it on your operating system select your path or location you want to download it in my case I have already downloaded it so I'm gonna copy the path basically and go to my location inside my computer I uh, have a program folder inside the program folder I have a couple of softwares and in the top I have a JDK 12.0. Windows 64 underscore bin this is the exe file of java development kit i'm gonna open that and click to us and then you need to install it on your operating system once you install it on your operating system then you will be able to use java on your operating system so i'm gonna click next and select your location or path you want to install it do you want to change that you need to click on change and select your location or path in my case I leave that and I'm gonna click next and then you need to wait a couple of seconds to install it on your operating system once the installation has been completed then you need to configure the environmental variable without environment variable you can't use Java program on your operating system so I'm gonna teach with you step by step how you can use that wait a couple of seconds okay now once the installation has been completed close that and go to C drive uh, program folder program folder have a Java folder inside the program files have a Java folder you need to open that inside the java folder have a, another folder with the name of jdk 12.0.1 version open that and also open the bin folder inside the bin folder have a couple of a java program files like uh, i'm going to show with you java and also java c java c means java compiler and java is a, a basically application file so you need to copy the path and close the directory and right click on your computer go to properties select advanced system setting select environment variables and select the path click to new no uh, select the path and click to edit and inside edit environment variables you need to click on new and paste the path click ok Okay, and also okay. Close that. Go to CMD. Start menu and search CMD to check the Java working or not. So I'm gonna search Java C, means Java compiler. Java compiler is running now. It means you will be able to use Java program on your operating system. How you can use Java program? So I'm gonna close that. 
so I'm gonna create a folder so I use a I will select basically D drive so I'm gonna open this PC D drive and I'm gonna create a folder uh, write the any name as you like in my case I use Java and then I'm gonna create a file so I'm gonna open notepad plus plus to write the code so write the public class write the any name as you like I'm gonna use public class demo this is a my demo class name okay and this is a keyword and also this is a same thing like keyword and this is a your class name you need to write uh, the class name uh, and the file name will be save same right so I'm gonna use public static wired main parenthesis string array range args skill bracket inside that I'm gonna use system dot out dot print parenthesis terminator inside the parenthesis I'm gonna use hello world right save the file and you must be save the file with the same class name like demo I'm gonna select the D drive Java folder inside the Java folder you need to write demo this is your class name and the extension must be dot java hit enter this is your file inside the file have a hello world uh, program okay I want to display the hello program so how I can run this program guys I'm gonna show with you go to your folder here this is your this PC D drive inside the D drive have a Java folder inside the Java folder have a file with the name of demo dot java so I'm gonna right click it and uh, open the git page I'm gonna also teach with you how you can run this program with cmd command prompt but this time I'm gonna use uh, git page right so first thing you need to write java c to compile the file file name demo.java uh, I think uh, java c uh, demo. I think I need to use a cmd command prompt. Okay, I'm gonna use cmd. Open that. Go to D drive. CD your folder name, and the file name is Java. C means Java compile. Which file you want to compile? Demo. Java. Everything is perfect. You can't see the error on console screen. It means you will be able to run the demo class on the console screen. So I'm going to use Java, the file name. Hit enter. As you can see, guys, hello world has been appeared. I'm going to use another thing like system dot out dot print. I'm going to use integer value like zero three zero something 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 right save that I'm gonna use uh, display this file I mean uh, I mean uh, numbers so first thing use Java C and file name uh, uh, I think I need to remove that save that and run this again uh, okay, system dot out dot print. I think I'll remove that, and I'm going to use uh, hello, guys. We are learning Java programming, right? This is updated text. So first thing you need to compile that. Use uh java see the file name and then you need to use again demo without extension must be write java without c and without the extension like dot java you need to hit enter and as you can see guys hello guys we are learning java programming so this is a very simple and 
basic way to use Java program. I hope you are understood as well all about how you can download JDK Java development kit and how you can configure the environmental variable and how you can run the Java program on your operating system. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel for getting updates. Thank you very much.